Commander, the Council's hailing us. Thank you, Ensign. On screen. Commander, I have good news. We know what happened to your people and our missing scientist. Are they all right? We will know soon. Bataris took a device with him that will allow us to bring them all back. I have much information to share with you. Can you come down here so we may discuss the situation? I understand your concerns, but we have powered down our device so it will not interfere with your transport. Stand by. You can't actually be considering going down there. Well, the background radiation has almost disappeared. I'm guessing the residuals from the gas giant. You're guessing? RT, they've tricked us twice already. Look, Mike, this is a diplomatic mission. They've admitted their complicity in this thing, and they may have a way to bring back the captain. My gut feeling tells me they're trying to help. Ensign. Aye, sir. What if it isn't their device, but the radiation from Solon? Then I trust that you and Chief Galway can see me through this, Mr. Smithfield. On screen, sir. Commander, I have once again transmitted our coordinates. I promise there will be no interference. If my chief engineer will allow it, I'll join you in your council chamber shortly. Farrah, get out. Coordinates received, uh, sir. Well, I guess I'm in the catbird seat now. At ease, Ensign. Condition Amber. Aye, sir. Anybody get the idea of that transport? <laughs> and you just close your eyes and get some natural sleep here. Aye. Condition Amber. Basically, the situation isn't under control, but there's nothing he can do about it. That about covers it. Speaking of our situation, sir, where in Pennsylvania do you believe we are? You mean when? The General's aide mentioned a skirmish on the other side of the river. And the General stated that General Howe wasn't pursuing. I think it's early in the war. As I remember, the Colonials didn't get off to a very good start. There's something about the river that plays a major event in history. General, sir! I trust you slept well, Captain? We slept very well. Thank you, sir. And you? I don't have that particular luxury right now. Soon enough. May I ask you a few questions? If you came to observe the Continental Army, I'm afraid you may have traveled a great distance for nothing. There won't be any army in a few weeks. But, General, you said the British weren't advancing. They don't have to move a muscle. Most of these boys joined the army after the success in Boston. Now, the thrill is worn off. They are cold, beaten, and tired. At the end of the month, their enlistments will run out, and they will simply pack up and go home. I wish that I could do the same. But your cause, independence. We actually thought that we could defeat a trained European army. These boys had enthusiasm. I'll give them that. And we can certainly outrun them in our own backyard. But it is another thing when every day brings a new disaster. We thought we had outrun them and could regroup. And then, strange people start showing up. I realize that we appear strange. But please don't think that we're here to interfere in any way. Tell that to the devil, Captain. He'll be joining us shortly. The devil? The Jersey devil. I saw him with my own eyes. Excellency, must we bring him in here? He's not the only one who's scared out of his wits, Captain. 
Half my army spent the night on their knees praying. They say he appeared in a plume of fire. What next? Uh, Captain? Excuse me, sir. Yes, Doctor, what is it? Did he say devil? The Jersey Devil. New Jersey. I remember. The Delaware. Pardon me, sir, but I remember the Alamo. So what? The Delaware River. The crossing the Delaware River and the surprise attack on Trenton. It turns everything around. My folks never helped with my history homework, so I'm a little vague on this. I do remember the painting, though. On Christmas night in, um... 1776. Right. A few months after the Declaration of Independence, the army had lost several battles and was barely hanging on. Washington decided to try a surprise attack on a group of German mercenaries. Hessians. I'm impressed, one Captain Cannon. I assume they were or will be successful? They took the battalion to Trenton with only a few minor casualties. With a much needed victory and fresh supplies, it galvanized the revolutionary cause. Reenlistment surged, and they continued fighting for another five years. All because that man, standing by the fire, came up with a brilliant plan and was able to convince his commanders and generals to take a leap of faith. That man standing by the fire is beaten, sir. And it looks like our untimely arrival was the last straw. 